Welcome to the Archaeology Studio. In this installment of Ask an Archaeologist, I answer this question. Is archaeology a real science? The short answer is yes, archaeology can be a real science. The long answer involves more complication, centered around three major issues. First, what is the definition of a science? Second, what is the definition of archaeology? Third, how can those two definitions be compared? I will guide through these issues concisely here, and you can find more thorough information in the other episodes and playlists in this YouTube channel. The simplest definition of science involves the ability to reproduce or replicate results. If you conduct an experiment, such as dropping an object from a building, then you should see the same results each time, such as observing the object fall downward. If something different happens, then you would need to identify the cause of the variation. A more complicated definition of science involves a hypothesis that could explain sets of observations, such as a hypothesis that a force of gravity affects all objects in a predictable fashion. Next, you could conduct experiments with variations to observe if the hypothesis can be proven, disproven, or in need of modification with further testing. Even more complicated, a philosophy of science involves the interrelations among theory, method, and technique. I prepared a separate video about this topic of theory, method, and technique in archaeology, and here I will summarize just briefly. In this arrangement, theory refers to a framework of hypothetical explanations that ideally can be testable. They are testable through real-world data that can be gathered and observed through procedural techniques. The method entails the analysis and interpretations for logical linkage between technique and theory. Next, we can consider how to define archaeology. I define archaeology as the study of the material remains of past human behaviors. Accordingly, the material remains of artifacts and other objects in the archaeological record provide the fundamental basis for building knowledge. Procedural techniques can be applied for obtaining the primary data sets from archaeological contexts, and then analytic and interpretive methods can leverage the material findings toward testing the accuracy of larger theoretical frameworks or hypothetical explanations. Now we can consider how a definition of archaeology compares with a definition of science. Unfortunately, archaeologists notoriously have used variable approaches that often have been flawed and in fact incompatible with a true philosophy of science in the classical sense. I will not review all of the details right now, but I can suggest to think critically about the roles of theory, method, and technique in any case. You can consider what question is being asked. And how can this question be formulated as a hypothesis? Next, what techniques are used for obtaining the relevant data to test the theory? And what methods are applied to ensure that the testing procedures are sufficient and convincing? As I have outlined here, archaeology can be a science, but not all archaeologists actually practice a true scientific paradigm with interrelated theory, method, and technique. Will you want to see more videos about archaeology? I encourage you to explore the online content, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and never miss another episode of the Archaeology Studio.